still need to go out and try to do the right thing for customers. Part of this really is that we've, we've come to learn that um, Hawaii is a very special and very unique place. And part of, part of what we're trying to do is make sure that we have a good understanding of what the issues are. Um, what the issues of concern, but also the opportunities are for the community. So um, the, the chance presented itself for us to hold these series of open house meetings, informational meetings, really going around to the various islands and understanding what is of concern to the community. And, and candidly, we can't come in to um, Hawaii and uh, presuppose that we know it all. Um, we need to hear firsthand from the community as to what the issues of concern are, what the opportunities are, and that really forms the basis for our relationship uh, in the state going forward. We do know that there are a lot of issues that are in this particular region. Um, part of it is we're still learning. Um, we do not operate geothermal. We don't have a position, for example, on geothermal. We're learning. Um, there, are, there are a lot of opportunities throughout the islands, and one of the things that we've picked up is, depending on which island you're on and what area you're in, um, people have very strong views. Um, and that's something we want to take in and, and really understand, especially when you talk about an issue as uh, so complex as energy. Uh, as the state is moving toward 100% um, renewables at some point in the future, I think it's fair to say we know what the issue is here, we know where we want to get. The real question is the dialogue that's in between those two points. And part of that uh, part of the solution lies in the dialogue and discussion with the community. Yeah, we, we've been very clear that we support Hawaiian Electric's goal to triple rooftop solar by 2030. Absolutely, firmly support that. Uh, there have been some that have said, well, you don't have a whole lot of solar, rooftop solar in Florida. And that's true. We have about 3,200 customers out of 4.7 million who are actually rooftop solar users. Um, but there's an economic perspective that surrounds all that. The economics in Florida are such that the cost of electricity is three times less than it is here. We pay about 9.7 cents a kilowatt hour. Here in Hawaii, in this region, upwards 30, 35, 40 cents a kilowatt hour. So the economics here in, in, in Hawaii make absolute sense for rooftop solar, where in Florida it does not. The payback here in Hawaii, two, three, four year payback in Florida can be two and three times that. It just makes sense that here in Hawaii, rooftop solar is a major player. But we would be very quick to suggest that anybody who would say that just because there's not a lot of rooftop solar in our service territory in Florida, whoever suggests that we're not for rooftop solar just simply uh, is not uh, stating the fact. People have asked us, so why are you here? Why Hawaii versus somewhere else? And, and the, the answer is very simple. Um, the platform, the renewable platform that exists in Hawaii is just phenomenal, arguably the best in the world. And we're very much a renewable company. We are the, the largest generator of renewable energy from the wind and sun in the world. So if we can bring those tools and that toolbox to Hawaii, we can help um, accelerate Hawaiian Electric's goals of increasing um, renewable energy, clean, more affordable energy. If we can do that, uh, and bring it first to Hawaii, it's a terrific opportunity for us. I mean, it's the perfect place for us as a renewable energy company to, to bring that toolbox to bear.